สวัสดีค่ะ Hi Hello This is Teacher Christina again for our online tutorial Again so let's try to review our lesson changing fraction to percentage Okay how are we going to change fraction form like this to percentage by very good by multiplying to 100 all right so first example we have 73 over 100 a uh, 1000 sorry 73 over 1000 times since this is percentage so times 100 is how much? So we have, okay, let's do the cancellation method. Of course, we have the 1 to 10, 73 divide 10. That is equal to 7.3%. Okay, so therefore, 73 over 1,000 is 7.3%. Changing, okay, from fraction to Percentage. 73 over 1,000 is equal to 7.3%. Okay, next question. No question? Alright, so next we have 3 over 5. 3 over 5. So change that one to percentage. Simply multiply again to 100. So 3 times 3 over 5 times 100. So we have 20. So 3 times 20, that is 60%. So therefore, 3 over 5 is 60%. 3 over 5 is equal to 60%. Alright, another example. 7 over, you can see, okay, 7 over 20. Okay. 7 over 20, change that 1 to percentage is what? We have, okay, 20 and 100, translation method, we have, okay, this is 5, 20, 100 divided by 20, we have 5, so 5 times 7, 7 times 5, we have, 35% okay 35% now it's very easy now how about if the fraction is in a mixed number how are we going to do that of course first you have to change the fraction into this is a mixed number right okay change the mixed number into improper fraction okay so changing improper fractions how are you going to do that of course 4 times 1 plus 3 is equal to 7 over 4 times 100 okay what is the answer of course we have 4 okay 25 7 times 25 you can see Okay, 25, 7 times 25, that is equal to 175%. Okay, very simple. So that is changing fraction to percentage. Fraction to percentage. Alright, so next Again, earlier, that's fractions to percentage. Now this time is percentage to fraction. Alright, so if we change fraction to percentage, what we did is we multiply. Very good, we multiply the fraction by a hundred. Alright, so this one here is different, opposite. So, percentage to fraction. So, instead of multiplying, 
we what we divide very good we divide by a hundred all right so first example we have 75 percent now 75 percent now what is that in fraction okay so again so that's it we have 75 now percent here means 100 okay so over 100 now changing that one into fractions what are we going to do in, especially into the lowest term what are we going to do Han. okay so what can we divide 75 and 100 what can we divide think okay 25 very good so we can divide so divide 25 and of course if we multiply uh, sorry if we divide numerator of course do not forget to divide also the denominator numerator again and denominator so if we divide numerator 75 to 25 of course you have to divide 100 to 25 as well so what is the answer so we have 75 divided 25 is 3 and 100 divided 25 is 4 so our final answer 75 percent is 3 over 4 in fraction 4 okay do you understand all right very good so next example we have eight percent okay eight percent the same method that we did here it is changed it's right eight over 100 so think of a number think of a number that we can divide both numerator and denominator denominator into the lowest term so we have, we can divide it by 4. Very good. So we can divide it by 4. Divide by 4. So 8 divide 4 is 2. 100 divide 4 is 25. So that's it. 8 percent is 2 over 25 you understand okay so next question uh, next example we have number three we have 30 percent okay 30 percent now change 30 percent of course the same what we did there what we did in number one and number two we we're right first 30 over 100 now think of a number again okay, think of a number that we can simplify what is simplify again okay change into a simple fraction okay a reducible fraction so we learned that one unit two fractions right okay so here what are we going to do of course we divided by 10 very good we divide both side numerator and denominator by 10 so 30 divide 10 we have 3 100 divide 10 is how like like how much Thir 10 okay very good 30 divide 10 is 3 100 divided by 10 is 10. Okay, so therefore, 30% is 3 over 10. Now, take note, this is percentage to fraction. Okay, percentage to fraction. Uh, right. Now, how about number 4 example? So, we have 140%. Okay, so that's right. 140 over 100 okay now we're going to divide it by in what number 20 very good so we can divide it by 
20. Okay, so 140 divide 20 is 7. 100 divide 20 is 5. Very good. Alright, so now, this is fraction form, right? But, what is this? Improper fraction. Okay, so we have to change this into mixed number. Okay, let's, let's have to change the one into a mixed number. Alright, so what is the mixed number of that? That is equal to 1, 2 over 5. So this is your final answer. So therefore, 140 is 1 and 2 over 5. So that's it. Percentage to fractions. Alright, do you have questions? Okay, now if you have questions, you can just comment below. Okay, comment down below if you have questions and I will answer that one later. Okay, so like this, always remember, changing fraction to percentage is multiply, right? Multiply percentage to fractions is opposite. Percentage to fractions, we are going to divide. And always remember, divide, change that one into the lowest term. The, lo 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 the lowest term. Always. Okay? Always remember that one. Alright, so again, earlier is fraction to decimal, uh, fraction to percentage, percentage to fractions. Alright, now so this time is decimal to percentage. Okay, so when we change it to percentage, we always what? Multiply. Okay, very good. We multiply by how much? 100. Okay, we multiplied by 100. Okay, so example number one. So we have 0 0.37. So this is a decimal. Now, how are we going to change into fraction again? We multiply it by 100. Okay, so we multiply it by 100. Of course, this is very easy. So what is the answer? 37%. Okay. 37%. Alright, so next we have number 2, 7.11 times 100. Again, so that is 7, 711 percent. Okay, so next, very easy, right? Next number 3, 0 0.7 times 100 percent that is equal to 70 percent okay that is equal to 70 percent okay next we have 1.3 okay, changing that one decimal to percentage is by multiplication okay multiply by 100 Right, so 1.3 times 100%, that is equal to 130%. Alright, so that's very easy, right? Okay, now here's a technique in changing decimal to percentage. Now, have you noticed, have you noticed here, that is 100. Now, how many zeros in 100 we have two zeros all right so we are going to move only from decimal okay from the decimal point so which is, which is our decimal where is our decimal point so this one so let's move how many times two times backward okay backward so we have let's count let's write one two so, the decimal point is here. So, what is the answer? 37%. Okay, you cannot see it. 
Alright. Okay. So next, 7.11. Move two decimal places again. Backward. So from here, so this is our decimal point where? So move one, two. So we have 711 percent all right so next number three so that is 0 0.7 again move to decimal places backward so we have from here one two so you just add zero okay 70 percent all right next number four one point three move to decimal places so from here one and two so that is 130 you add zero 130 percent all right so that's it it's very easy right okay now if you have question just comment down below bye <laughs>
So given 195%, so that's 195 over 100. So what is the answer? We have 1.95. Okay, let's check. So from here, move two decimal places, 1 and 2. 1.95. So next, number four example, 300%. So that is 300 over 100. That is equal to 3. Okay, let's move two decimal places. 1, 2. So that is 3. Very easy, right? Okay. Alright, so let's continue. Okay, so this topic is a continuation of the topic that we have. Okay, so solving percentage. Alright, so before we move on to the word problems, we have to understand this. This is the basic questions for percentage. Alright, so example number one, we have 20% of 600 is what okay 20 percent of 600 is what okay so let's try to change now 20 percent what is 20 percent so let's answer 20 percent that is what so that is 20 over 100 right you can see okay let's change so that is that is 20 over 100 right now always remember this one if you have if you see this one off right off means multiplication so in a sentence form off is multiplication is is the answer equal off is multiplication okay so 20 percent is 20 over 100 off is times 600 okay 600 is is equal to what is the missing value we're going to look for a number okay so we look for a number a variable n all right so simplify this one okay you can do the cancellation method 100 so 6, so we have 20 times 6, that is equal to 120 over n. So this is our answer. 20% of 60 is 120. Alright, so it's very easy, 120. Right, uh, see... Now, now you can also do like this. Aside from doing this one, 20 over 100, you can do directly. So what? how are you going to change percentage to decimal? You are going to move to decimal places, right? So just move to decimal places. So you have 0 0.2 times 600. That is equal to... 120. Okay, very easy, no? Okay. Now, how about this one? Okay, how about this? So, I will erase this. Okay, now, how about this one? So, 50% of N. Now, the, the missing value is here. Equals 10. So, 50% of N is equal to 10. Alright, so let's try to check this one. Okay, so move here. So, that is 50 over 100. Okay, 50 over 100. Of times, what is the missing number? N is equal to 10. Okay, you cannot see. Okay, 
Oh. It's the light, not that one. What? Twenty. Okay. So one thousand divided fifty is twenty. So the n here is twenty. Okay. And actually, we have a. Another shortcut, so we can use also la. Okay, so you have here and we can use also different one like this Okay, you can do like this, you can it's Yes. Follow. Okay. Now again. You can do also the same like this. So we have 50% of N is 10. So what is 50%? That is 0 0.5. Very good. 0 0.5%. Times n is equal to ten. Okay, zero point five percent n is equal to ten. Now multiply these two. Of course, that would divide by zero five. Divide zero five. So again. Nah, di siapa klaro mengambil gue? So again, so we have 50, so that is 0 0.5 times times n. Okay, you can use open and close parentheses for multiplication. We can use x for multiplication we can use also that for multiplications right so this one i use parentheses so this one open and close parentheses all right that is equal to 10 okay so what are we going to do next is divide divide by 0 0.5 divide 0 0.5 so that, that one so we have 10 is equal to 10 divided 0.5 is what? 
20. So, that's it. Right? Compared to earlier, it's a very long process. So, you can use this one. So, it's a shortcut. It's a technique. But it's up to you where you're... It's up to you which is easy for you to do. Which is easy... Which is easy solutions you're going to use uh, this one or the other one okay but i like to use this one okay so next n percent of 20 is 10 okay let's try to erase this well, let's erase one so n percent of 20 is 10 so what is n percent so that is what n okay of course n now times i will use times 20 is equal to 10. now divided one to 20 again so earlier we divide by one so n that is equal to 10 divide 20 that is what okay that is 0. 5. Okay, that is 0 0.5 in decimal point. Right? Decimal point. Now, since this is a percent, so we are going to multiply it by 100. So our final answer is equal to 0 0.5. You can see. 0.5 times 100 oh shoot 0.5 is 50 percent okay so therefore 50 percent of 20 is 10 okay all right so another example Another example, what do we have here? Okay, how about this one? Okay, 30% of N is equal to 300. Okay, so 30% of N is 300. All right, so change again 30%. So what is 30%? We have 0 0.3, okay? Of, what does it mean? Times N. So we will multiply it by N is equal to 300. Just copy. Now, divided by 0 0.3. And the other side also 0 0.3. So, the one we have n is equal to 300 divide 0 0.3 is equal to 1,000. Alright, so that's it. Therefore, 30% of 1,000 is 300. Okay, so do you have questions? Do you understand? Now, if you have questions just comment down below and if you don't understand some of this maybe i am i am a bit too fast which is sometimes i do just try to re re-watch the video all right so that's it for today and this is me teacher christina for your online tutorial thank you bye